Hi, it's Jody here from Let's Create Studio. Today we're going to be making another card, a fun fold card, using the Love Sparkles stamp set. This is my, I think, fourth, fifth uh, video making a fun fold card using this stamp set. I'm really trying to work hard at um, using the products that I have in multiple ways so that I can get the maximum use out of them plus use up all my designer series papers. So the um, products are from the Stampin' Up! May 31st catalog that's gonna be ending soon. Um, this stamp set is going to be retiring, so if you'd like to um, make some of these cards, get the stamp set uh, while you can. So we're gonna be making this wedding card or anniversary card using the super pretty palette. Um, this card is a fun fold and it tucks in under here and we have this panel and it opens up and it says celebrate and love and then you can write your greeting here okay let's get started so i've already cut the base for i've cut some of the parts and the base so this um it measures four and a quarter by 11 so you're cutting your regular sheet of card stock in half and then i'm going to pull out my scoreboard here and in the landscape position, you're going to score at five and a half and eight and a quarter. I've already done this because I wanted to make sure I folded the card correctly. And then you're going to fold it up like this. And that creates your card base that fits into a regular size envelope. And let's get started with the very vanilla. So we've got a panel, a regular size panel, four by five and a quarter, another panel by two and a half by four, and then a little piece with a flag for our sentiment. All the measurements are on my website, jodydeering.com. So using the matching Sahara Sand ink, we're going to push that on there. We're gonna do our greeting first. Oh, it fell off. Let's see if we're straight. Yeah, pretty good. This is my second take filming this video, so I know on the other side I have a straight greeting. But I'm going to show you my little trick here. Let's put a little bit of um, sponging on the side. There's really lots of uh, sophisticated ways that you can store your sponge, but this is what I do. Um, I take the big Stampin' Up! sponge, cut it up, and then into these little wedges. And after I've used it, instead of storing it, I just take my snips and snip off the edge until it's nice and clean. Ah, voila! And I've been doing this for a long time and it's actually lasting, so I'm always looking for quick and easy ways. And then you're just gonna uh, rub the edges of your, your banner to create the sponged effect. And if we flip it over, there's my nice straight greeting. Okay, so for the inside panels, we're going to use the Blushing Bride because that is um, a nice pink that's inside the, the designer paper. So everything coordinates. So let's do Celebrate. And Love. Just double checking where I stamped it. I stamped it right in the middle. There we go. Nope. Pressed a little too hard. I got these little halo lines. So we'll flip it over. And I already have love on this side. Darn. Huh. Okay. What should we do? Let's just use that side. Wouldn't be a video if I didn't make a mistake. Okay, now let's get started adhering all of these together. This card goes together really fast and it's one of those wow cards. I could edit out my mistakes, but I like to show you how you can how you can overcome obstacles. Yeah, I really like the way the uh, Blushing Bride looks with this Sahara Sand. So we're going to put the love on the inside and actually I'm going to add some hearts. I need some hearts. This needs a little bit more. I think I'll use the Sahara sand. 
I love these sparkle hearts. Yes. One and two. Okay, that's better. I think this has been one of my favorite stamp sets out of the catalog. And it's an excellent price point at only $21 Canadian. Okay, and then we're going to adhere our panels together. So the front of the card, we've got this designer paper. This is the love, I can't remember what the theme was called, but it's the love paper. Okay, and then the panel on the front. So our Sahara sand panel is three and a quarter by four. And then our designer papers go down. So we've got three inches by three and three quarters. And then this panel here was is two and a half by four inches. And again, all those measurements are on the blog. Along with a PDF that you can print out if you like with pictures. And step-by-step -step instructions. So that's the panel there, and we're going to glue this. See, this is where we get our fun fold. We're going to glue that to the front. Put your glue on this panel here, so then you, you don't overlap it. You didn't see that. You don't overlap it too much. Okay, and then next you're going to add your circle here the middle and that's where our panel is going to tuck in under it's going to tuck up and under like that and then on our circle let's add a bow we add a nice pretty very vanilla And then we're going to add our greeting. It's your day right along the front here. You can pop that up with dimensionals or you can just glue it on. I'm just going to glue it on. And then because it's a wedding card, we've got to add some pretty curls. Just here and here. Nice little one here. There you go, there's your card, and it does all fit nice and snug inside an envelope. So we're gonna pull the tab off this way, and that's how your fun fold works. There you go, I hope you enjoyed this card, and I'd love for you to go and make one and then show me a copy. Um, have an awesome day, and if you like this video, please subscribe below, 